Hi, my name is Rob Horton. Welcome back to the Bear Cave. This week, as part of our Shapes That Will Improve Your Tumble series, is all about the bridge. So I think the bridge is so important because it's one of those primary gymnastic skills that we first learn when we're introduced to the sport. It teaches us where to be flexible, it teaches us important core strength, and it also builds our confidence. So let's take a look at the bridge and how it can be performed. So when we think of bridges, we think of those cartoons that kids draw uh, when they're young, that kind of shape that looks a little bit like this. Actually, when we're trying to perform a bridge, we're looking for something completely different. In the image, you can see that Simone's head is neutral and her shoulders are fully extended so she can get maximum flexibility. Her legs are straight and there is no bend uh, in her hips or in her lower back. So actually what we're looking for is more like a right angle triangle. Um, this means that Simone is in her strongest position, uh, but it's also a safer one too. Let's look at the exercises you can do to get that all important bridge shape. In terms of long-term athlete development, minimising head movement is better for them anyway. We've all tried to teach athletes tucks and layouts where their head is all the way back here and it's almost impossible to perform the skill safely. So if we can start at level zero and level one, minimising head movement, by the time they get to level three, four, five and plus, they're going to be a lot more solid in their shapes, which will be easier to perform those more elite tumble skills. Go! Put your kick leg up. Lift. Hold. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three. Good. So if we can get that bridge shape right, particularly the head position in the early days, it should mean that our life as coaches and our athletes' lives should be much easier as they progress to more elite skills. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, Please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.